I'm going to show you how you can set up using badges in Canvas. So badges are a way to gamify uh, what you do in your Canvas course, where you can award badges either manually by um, awarding a student a digital badge for doing something. Think of it like a merit badge or Girl Scout, Boy Scout badge kind of thing. Or you can set up a module uh, that whenever they complete a certain list of steps or a certain... Um, a set of, of documents that they have to look at or go through, then they are awarded a badge, like a certificate essentially, at the end showing that they've completed this and then they can store these badges, keep track of which things they've completed and which ones they have, haven't, and the teacher can check those as well. So the first thing I need to do is I need to create what's called a Badger account. Um, Badger is a third-party app that um, is free, they have paid options, but you should be able to make it work with the free option. Uh, and you can create an account and then we're gonna connect it to Canvas. So the website for Badger, notice the spelling is B-A-D-G-R. Uh, there is no E in here. So if I go to badger.com, um, it asks me to go ahead and sign in. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with my Google account. So the first thing I need to do is I need to create what's called an issuer. So uh, on this page, I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to tell it to view my Badger backpack. And right now it tells me I have no badges set up. So at the top, you'll see an option for a backpack. This is where I can store my badges or add badges. Um, pathways is kind of like a um, creating a custom path on what they have to do to receive badges, but we're going to use Canvas for that. And then issuers, and these are the people who are allowed to give these badges. So again, for most classroom teachers, you're going to have one issuer who's going to give away all of your badges. But if you're maybe a math department doing something like this, you could create um, multiple issuers, which would be the teachers of this one main department account that would be able to do this. But again, most cases you're going to use uh, an individual classroom teacher. So I'm going to go ahead and create an issuer. And this is where it's going to ask for issuer's information. So the name is what's going to show up in Canvas. So I'm just going to go ahead and put Mr. Wagner. The issuer's website, this is just simply a spot if you wanted to redirect them to somewhere else. You do have to put something in here. In my case, I just go ahead and put in Holman's uh, website in here. You can do the same with yours if you'd like. And then when I click, there's a spot asking for my email address, which since we already logged in with it, it should automatically connect to it. And then here is also an option to give a description of the issuer uh, and who this person is. Again, it is mandatory, so you have to put something in here. Um, and so I could simply put that this is a math teacher or what subject I teach, or if you wanted to type in an entire description, um, I could do that. But in this case, I'm just gonna say, this is for Holman Middle School. You can go ahead and give yourself an image if you want. This is again like an avatar, um, just like what you would have in Google in that little circle. You tell them that you've read and agreed to the data processor addendum. Again, I would recommend you review that at some point. And then here is information down here that you could put about yourself. Um, again, this part is not mandatory. You can skip it. It will give you messages reminding you to do it. Uh, but it's entirely up to you. Um, so personally, I leave this information blank and then just simply tell it to create an issuer. Now, I've completed my issuer. Here it is, Mr. Wagner, Holman Middle School, and it tells me I have zero badges. Now, again, it reminds me that I haven't completed the background information that they would like. Optional, you don't have to, you can just ignore that. So now that I have my issuer account, I'm ready to connect this to Canvas. So I'm gonna click on my little account icon in the upper right hand corner, and I'm gonna go down to privacy and security. And when I do this, this is gonna ask me how I wanna integrate this into um, my app. And so in this case, we are gonna use Canvas's LTI to let Canvas decide how they're gonna award these apps. So all I have to do is simply click on it, and it's gonna give me what's called a consumer key and a shared secret. I'm gonna leave this tab open, and now I'm gonna switch over to Canvas. So here I am in Canvas. I'm gonna open up the Canvas course that I wanna use badges. Now this is course-based, so if I have multiple courses I wanna add this to, I'm gonna to have to follow the same procedure for each course. So I'm gonna open up this course, 
And in my green toolbar on the left, I'm going to scroll all the way down to Settings. And in Settings, at the top, I have some icons to choose from. And I want the one called Apps. Now from here, I can search for Badger. Again, B-A-D-G-R, no E. This shows you all the different Badger integrations that are built in. The one we want is Badger US. And then once I click on that, I want to tell it to add this app. And again, this will do this for this one course. Now it's going to ask for this consumer key and the shared secret. If you've done any of this with like Edpuzzle before, it's the same process. I'm going to take the consumer key and copy it. Come back over here and paste it. And then I'm going to go over and take my shared secret and copy. Come back and paste and tell it to add this app. It tells me the app was added successfully. Now I am ready to go. So now that the app is added successfully, um, if I go back home to this course and scroll down on the left, I should now see an option for badges. And when I click on badges, It's going to tell me, hey, there is an upgraded version of Badgers that I can use if I want to. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to upgrade this course to include that. So then it's going to ask me to choose an issuer as the person who is going to be giving badges or awarding badges for this specific course. So in this case, uh, this is my issuer. I can tell it to select this issuer. And then once I've done that, it will actually pull up everything I have in Badger right within Canvas. So that's how I create my Badger account and connect it to Canvas.